you'll know that this year is the first ever designated World Health Organization Year of the Nurse That's right. and, and the Midwife. And, and we were all so excited about the celebrations this year. But then the pandemic hit us and we've seen nurses absolutely at the forefront of the in the eye of that of that pandemic. What have been your thoughts and your reflections on what the nursing profession, indeed healthcare workers have gone through this year? Well, you know, I think that it's fitting that this is the year of the nurse and the midwife when we have a global pandemic and um, the world has just been focused on the incredible contributions of nurses um, and other healthcare workers, the incredible sacrifice um, that is made regardless of if you're on a COVID unit, right? The fact that we show up every day um, without fail, the level of commitment um, and expertise that we bring to our roles, no matter the setting. Um, there's, you know, at least in America, there's been this like healthcare heroes, essential worker, you know, thing that's happened where there's, you know, profound appreciation. Um, and I think that nurses have um, been acknowledged in that way uh, by society for a long time, but it's more been about how you make people feel. And, and less about, you know, what we do every day and our unique roles and the way that our system, just our healthcare system would not function without us, right? I think that that has been brought more to the fore versus just caring, compassionate. I know a nurse, I love my nurses, right? Like that, we, we appreciate that part of it too, but um, it, it's been a little different this year. And, and I think that for society to recognize the complexity of what we bring, it's something that will um, probably certainly influence um, the way that nurses move around our communities in the years to come.